This is uh, F-150 2000, the 4.6 liter. I'm changing the power steering pump, which on the driver's side, on the 4.6, is gonna be down in there, that pulley. And then if you see that big rubber hose right here, that's your coolant hose and it's blocking the way. I, ha I have this hose, this line right here by my finger. Okay, so to remove the high pressure line, there's that radiator hose and it's right behind the radiator hose. I use the crowbar to push the radiator hose out of the way a little bit so I can get to the, the line on the steering column. So I took off the front cover here, or the cover, there's just like two bolts there, two on the bottom and then two on the other side. So, all right. So the line, oh my God. Turn the fuck around. My hands are like sweaty, it won't. So that's the line, you see it there? I have it unscrewed out of the steering box and then it comes back over and then under and then into your power steering pump. So you can get in at it right here with a 16. <coughs> you can get a 16, <coughs> 16 millimeter up in here on there. I didn't have a 16 meter line wrench so you can turn it and then you got to flip it around and turn it and it goes really slow. You can get at it depending on your lift or if you have one or not on your truck. <coughs> Some people come in at it from this way and it's right in there. See where I got the, I have the glove in the hole right now. But yeah, it's right behind, not that one that's fitted in there, it's the one behind it. Yeah, there's where that glove is, that white thing. Some people get it at it from this way. I use an open-ended 16 inch. You could use a pipe cutter and cut that and then get a nut over it. But I was able to break it free with a 16 open-ended. I don't know, I was told 14 on the things I was watching online, but um, that 16, that took me a little while to get that out. Having to go turn by turn. This zoom is pissing me off. See, yeah, that's the connector right there. It's out, it's out of the thing right now. But yeah, I got a 16 and you just turn it. And then, um, now I don't know how to turn around. But then, um, it was stuck in there. I, I could freely turn it. And I was pulling on that that line to get it out and I really had to yank on that motherfucker to pull that line out of the box thing though so if once you get all that threaded make sure you give it a good yank um, and then I guess might look at it look at it before you know make sure the o-ring or nothing didn't get stuck in that steering column that's probably gonna be the hardest part is getting that line off so I did that first now I got to get the belt off and uh, and there's another hold right here I'm gonna take off the, the rubber one coming from the reservoir, which is, there's your reservoir, and that big, this rubber, this sounds in my, that hose comes down and then connects to the power steering pump down here, <coughs> which is <coughs> going to be, like off here. That hole is connected right there. See how it's skunked up? Um, I think that the hose is all, I'm gonna change the hose anyways. Cause, so then that, that connects to your reservoir. There's your pulley. I gotta take the belt off, but I'm gonna get this clamp off and get this hose disconnected. Leave this one on, cause you can't get to it 
while it's in the vehicle. That's what people say, but I feel like I could get to it. Huh. Well, I'm going to leave it. Um, yeah, all this corroding, the oil building up behind the pump, and more oil here, so I'm going to get that hose off. So I'm installing my power steering pump, and I just took this cap off, and the fucking thing is pinched off. It's fucking bent in half, and I know it's going to cause a fucking leak, probably from shipping. Oh my gosh, I am so pissed. I just got this installed, took the cap off, ready to put the return hose on, and this fucking... Oh, it's pinched off. You gotta be fucking kidding me. So I can get at all the bolts with this little setup here. It's a 10 millimeter at the power steering pump. And there's the pump. And there's one bolt right there. You see it behind that pipe? And there's another one. And the other two. Let's zoom on here. So that's the rubber hose, the return line hose going back up to the reservoir, the power steering pump reservoir. And you see that bolt like right in that little slot there? There's one of them. And then the other ones behind that rubber behind them wires there. You gotta move them wires to get to it. And that, there, see that hole there behind that? Mine is, that must have already been replaced, so there is one behind there too that you gotta get out. But mine didn't have that one. And then there's the other one behind that wire. The wire is right in the way, but it's right, yeah, you can kind of see the edge of it. Focus, right there. That's the other one. So I can get them all at it. That line right there connects into the steering box. That's just a glove, I have it out of the hole. It's down in there behind the radiator hose. Yeah, if you see that line, you gotta move. I use this pry bar to push the hose out of the way. Push it out of the way.